Hey, what's up guys? This is SP Gaming bringing you yet another 5 minute game review. Today we are looking at Fortnite Battle Royale, created by Epic Games, the creators of Jazz Jackrabbit, Unreal Tournament, Gears of War and Bulletstorm just to name a few. I'm feeling very old right now. First things first, yes this game is a PUBG ripoff. PUBG was released in March 2017 and Fortnite in July 2017 and Fortnite's free to play battle royale only a few weeks ago on the 26th of September 2017. So no money no problem, unlike its closest competitor this one is for free. So what can you complain about when it comes to a free game? Not much am I right? This game is pretty much what you would get if PUBG, Rust and Team Fortress had a threesome. Gameplay and feel is exactly that of PUBG with the graphics feel of Team Fortress. And no cover no problem. Like in Rust, you build your own. One of the most obvious differences between this game and PUBG is that here you roll in in the magic school bus before you get to go and poon noobs. This makes for a pretty fun experience and to be honest, I really can't take this game too serious. On my second try I managed to finish 9th out of a total of 100 players although I only got 2 kills. With my best being 8th with a total of 4 kills. A game can last you 15 minutes which allows you to play this game when you don't have the time to sit down and put in a major session. This game has a simplified loot system where you just load your items on your hotbar and you are good to go. Build so quick even Bob the Builder would feel a bit jealous. It's reported that Fortnite sold over 1 million copies, so even if just a fraction of that plays Battle Royale, you still have a no issue finding a game. I was able to run on max settings with a GTX 1060 and had very little lag, and the little bits of stutter that I did experience can be due to the fact that I played on a Europe server with a latency of about 180 ms. I can see this game running smooth on many older cards, so don't be scared to give it a try. I can however see that the cartoony feel might not work for some people, and those that do play PUBG won't really give this a go, but all comes down to personal preference. I've had no issues installing and playing the game, unlike some AAA title that just had its free weekend in which I could not even play the game, due to never ending server drops and errors. You know exactly what I'm talking about over there. <coughs> God. Sound is also very good and ties into the cartoony feel of the game. Keep your ears on the ground though, those opening doors can be the difference between life and death. Controls and other settings are exactly what you would expect from any shooter, so there's really not much I can say about that. Bat Battle Royale has a paid version of the game that turns it into a zombie survival game. But to be honest, I can't see myself paying for that when I can play Battle Royale for no money at all. <coughs> so would I recommend this game? Absolutely yes. I rate this game a solid 7 out of 10 keeping in mind that there is no single player campaign and no story behind it. I would have liked to see some sort of leveling system and maybe cosmetic unlocks for the free version. But let's face it, it's 2017 and who still cares a single damn about a single player campaign, am I right? Grab a couple of friends, squad up and easily play this for hours on end. This really is a good game and kudos to Epic Games for releasing this title. So once again guys, thanks for watching and remember to hit that like and subscribe button.